Hi everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X uh, Extreme. <laughs> they spelled it with an X instead of an E at the beginning because 90s, right? Yes. This game should have been sent with a pat or with a uh, bottle of Mountain Dew, <laughs> right on the store shelves. Anyways, enough rambling. Uh, let's start hard mode. I believe I should be able to just load up this file. And so we're going to end up... This is basically the first level of this playthrough and the last levels will basically be exactly the same. Uh, I'll just have more health and items and such as I'm going through them. Like, right now, I still have all the stuff I completed the first run through of the game with. But, uh, the four stages in between will be entirely different this time. So, we'll be fighting... Instead of uh, 1x2 boss and 3x1 bosses, it'll be the other way around. And here we're back on the highway fighting B-copters. This reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to collect a whole bunch of Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars. Uh, Matchbox did a run of uh, vehicles that looked like animals. And one of them that I had was actually a helicopter shaped like a bee. Ah, that was, that was weird. Ah! Oh, you! Yeah, go down there and laugh at me. Whatever. Son of a bitch. Oh! That's bad. Oop. Okay. Did it that time. What is a sad thing that's missing from this first level? The cars, man. The cars! And here we have Vile for the second time. His name is still Vava for some reason, and the game never feels like explaining this, and I don't even know why they chose to do that, because again, he never appears, his fucking Boba Fett ass never appears anywhere else in the game. Back, this game does a few baffling things, but to me, this is one of the most baffling things. Because I just don't get why you'd rename Vile. Also, it's really kind of unclear whether or not this is just X dreaming or if he's actually in the computer for a little bit. Because they make a big ceremony about actually powering up the computer to send X into cyberspace. So... I guess he was dreaming? Oh well. One of the things I lament about this game is that you can't play a zero in it. <laughs> I kind of lament that about most X games. But whatever. In X2 you actually can. So here we have four new bosses. Magna Centipede, Wheel Gator, uh, Morph Moth, and we have Armored Armadillo. Who am I? Who I am actually going to take on first? Because he's weak to the electric spark. Well, he should be still. Plus, this is the last of the levels that I have a really good memory of. Mostly because I don't know. 
Oh, wait. That's right. Wait. This thing was... No! Stop! Oh, okay. There's nothing up there I need anyways. Whatever. That's what I was really here for anyways. So, in X1, those things' weakness is actually the fire weapon. Which I thought might have still held true, but I guess I was wrong. Ah! Stop following me, Bat! Whoa! That is a way shorter ride than I remember it being. Uh, I sh Oh. Yeah, this one I have to actually get out ahead of. Also, those things are basically a one-hit kill in X1. But as with a lot of things, this game... I don't remember this many spike pits. But this game is uh, has a lot of differences from the game it's actually trying to ape. I wonder how long this cart ride's going to end up being. Oh, outside already. Wow! Well, I don't think we could have actually gotten what was up there yet anyways. But here we are at Armored Armadillo. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, that. Wait, nope. Can he not lose his armor in this one? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> See, is he weak against a different weapon? <laughs> okay. Well, I think I get his shtick, but this is... <laughs> I forgot about this! This makes this fight so much harder! Holy shit! Oh, I gotta be a little bit faster on the go, too. Hey, right, you wanna stop? You wanna... you wanna stop that? Hey, right, you can stop. You can stop that. Oh, okay. I can hit him like that too. Good to know. Or maybe I can't. Why will nothing hurt you? actually fucking got him! Why that worked and not the other three dozen times I've actually hit him, I have no idea. I don't even know, man. Armadillos are weird. Armadillos are not actually all that weird. I just saying that makes it seem like it's less of my fault that I was getting my ass handed to me. Wow, that was weird.
Maybe it's because I had to hit him in the back with the electric spark? Oh! See, now this is actually a continuation all of a sudden. Gmail's all by himself this time. He doesn't even have techno. Wait, did they reintroduce MIDI? I gotta be perfectly honest, I really thought the game was just rehashing the same story, so... Aha! Uh -huh. Mm-hmm! We'll take on Morph Moth next. Because, yeah, Morph Moth. Although, if I remember right, I think there's a thing I can't actually get in here unless I have Magna Centipede's power. So, yeah, I might just be kind of wasting my time here. <laughs> or wait, nope, I can, in fact, get up here. Okay. They just made that ledge a lot lower in this version of the game. I feel like I still have to really give this game props for the way it emulates uh, X1 and X2 stages and such. I mean, this is... I mean, the Game Boy Color wasn't necessarily a stellar system, but this is really excellent use of its hardware. What do we have here? Oh, right, the polygon. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Well, now, uh, I don't have Bubble Crab's weapon, so. I can't just, uh. Okay. really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Ah, right, there we go. Or not. I don't, I don't know what you want from me, game. Uh, E-Spark doesn't work. Rolling Shield doesn't work. Okay, that works. <laughs> Alright. What was I saying about praising this game for actually managing to <laughs> copy X1 and X2 levels onto a Game Boy Color cartridge? Uh, right, I forgot. Hardware limitations made that whole process still kind of suck a little bit, though. Just fucking knock it off. To the point where things where you have to aim very specifically for certain things don't necessarily work all too much. Ah! <laughs> Those still work like they're supposed to, though. No, 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 no. Just go. Run away. Okay, so I think we're at Morph Moth? Oh no, wait, it's another one of these things. Okay. Okay, okay, yeah, so the middle of its chest is its weak point. Stay close to it so that it'll... 
Oh, never mind. It really likes, uh, not showing me its front end. You motherfucker. Wait, what am I doing? There we go. Being stupid, that's what I'm doing. And then there's this thing. Which is placed so appropriately that it can't hurt anyone. Okay, so should be at Morph Moth, whose weakness should still be Speed Burner. Oh, and just, uh, apparently now we're just... Oh, it's, it can't be hurt when it's doing that. They reversed its fucking weakness, like, uh, zones. You know what? Kill me. I need to die. And also, when it starts absorbing so much of that crap, it starts making in creating input lag. <laughs> Ah! Standing near the walls was a safe spot, but <laughs> there just is no safe spot. That's a really, uh... That's a really messy fight, really, just about any way you look at it. Okay, we got the silk shot. Gonna give it a go there. Alright! And that's going to be it for this episode. I am the D.O.M. Big O, and I will see you next time!